All right, so if we, I could just have your attention. I just wanted to say a few words, and I know Trustee Guido does have to leave, so we're going to have a little presentation for him first and then move on. I just want to say, I want to thank you, Joe. You know, I've known you for many years, but especially as superintendent once I got on cabinet, but the last year and a half, and you've really been an awesome support. I know you know the history. You've helped me through some great situations, provided great advice, but yet still relied on me as superintendent to and supported me through the recommendations of hiring and all the things and as you know there was a lot of hiring last year different situations I know that initially you weren't so fond of the blogs but you've come more fond of them as you check the <laughs> and by the way we just got a selfie that he took with him and Roxanne that will be going on the blog <laughs> I you know I enjoyed some of the social time with you Joe too I think hockey Golf. I know we. I, bowling. Yes. Bo oh yeah. We had a lot of fun at bowling and at the Mickey uh, Redmond reception last year when you and I hung out at the reception. We got the pucks and I got you front line. Do you remember that? Yeah, I want you right in front to get the line. So. One thing I haven't been able to do though is get to your place for the. For the golf next year. All right. <laughs> we'll hold you to that. So you're a great person, a great leader over almost 24 years of service for Dearborn Public Schools. And I know that the reason Joe really joined the board as uh, you know trustees is just to make a difference and for the students. And so if we could just give him a big round of applause and we have a little gift here, David. Oh. And if I could have President Lane maybe come up for this too. While he's opening it, I, I just want to say that I am so, so sorry that he's leaving. I had a whole thought process thinking about what I would say about the loss that we're going to experience with him leaving. And then I realized, oh man, that makes me the oldest person on the board now. Oh! So I'm really grieving for many, many reasons. But instead of telling you about all of his expertise, I do want to say that Joe Guido has been the nicest person on the board. He's just fantastic, isn't he? I mean, he's got the most gentle, self-demeaning humor, and there's a few of you that are here that know we went through a lot of, a lot of tough decisions, a lot of agonizing meetings, a lot of turmoil. We came through it and we're a fabulous school district. I think we're one of the best, if not the best in Michigan. And Joe's expertise is so, so helpful. Not only that, but his personality is just, just right for the moment. So half the time I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, phenomenal, unbelievable. Thank you so, so much beautiful clock with a little inscription on it. It says, recognition of service presented to me with our most sincere appreciation for your years of service to the Dearborn Public Schools. Thank you so much, everybody. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. So if anybody else would like to come up, I did want to tape people's remarks to Joe, but unfortunately he's going to cut out. Uh, we'd still like to have anybody at 7 o'clock <laughs> yeah, you can come back at 9 o'clock or whatever. Yeah, so anybody who does want to come, say anything. I have been privileged to work with so many terrific board members over the five, past five years. But I have to say one thing about Joe. Joe had such a calming effect, and he was the one that you go to for sensible, calm, rational advice. Even when tempers were flared, he was just steady as a rock. So, Joe, thank you so much for your leadership. And I learned a great deal from you. I appreciate that. So, really quick, I at one point realized while I was sitting on the board that when I was in high school, I got to come and sing in front of Trustee Joe at one of our Christmas, uh, at one of the Christmas meetings. And then in college, I got to be there um, as part of a group when I was at Henry Ford College, and we presented in front of the Board of Trustees, and we noticed Joe's empty seat on that day. <laughs> but um, Joe, on 
But no, seriously, Joe has, was so welcoming and so great, and I sincerely appreciated his intellect, his knowledge of uh, just kind of experience doing what we do, what trustees do in the district, understanding his architecture background, his background in money, and I learned so much, and I really appreciated that, so thank you. Well, I got a quickie comment about Joe. One of the first things that I learned about Joe is that his elementary teacher probably had him in the corner most of the time. <laughs> high school. And even in high school. But I turned to Joe for wisdom because he's been on the board for so many years. And he cuts through the issues. And he cuts through the baloney. And he just listens. And then he can see him sit back, think about it, and then he gives you a response. But you know that he can turn a phrase quickly enough to make you want to cry. So I just think he's probably been in trouble a lot in his life, but you wouldn't even notice it, would you? <laughs> So for many meetings, I had to share my laptop with Joe because we had this thing where we are going to no longer use paper and actually access the agenda on the computer. Well, every meeting, Joe complained that his password is not working. So I'm like, it's okay, Joe, we can use my computer. And then the last meeting, Joe said, in the middle of the meeting, my password worked. And I said, is it the same password? And he said, yes. So Joe always made things not only fun, but just easy and relaxing. And even in tough situations, you were able to bring humor to the situation. And as a new trustee, I truly appreciate your guidance. And I hope you know we're all going to call you still and seek your advice. So thank you for your leadership, Joe. So I just wanted to say to Joe, thank you for your years of service to Dearborn. You know. I really knew I had a good board of education when I was here in Dearborn, but leaving and, and looking and working with boards all over the state, now I know for 100% sure we had a great board here in Dearborn because they were focused on student achievement, focused on the budget, focused on the bond issue, focused on graduation rates and holding us accountable to that. So Dearborn schools, whether it's student achievement, budget, we know that the, the work that you did on the on the bond and, and saving district money because of your work, uh, you need to be congratulated for that. And so as a state constitutional officer, I get to give away these symbols of excellence, but I've only given one away so far in my year and a half, and I want to give Joe the second one because he deserves it for his work on the board, for his commitment to the students here in Dearborn. I know on my evaluation, though, he did tell me I had to work on my golf game, and I never did, Joe, I apologize. I, Still a failure, but I do understand you sunk your putt this year because I wasn't yelling at you at the uh, college foundation. Uh, anybody yelling from the, from the patio? Well, see, so your score improved. It's all because of me. Thanks. His team won? Oh, your team. Well, that never would have happened when I was here. Wow, this is great. Thank you so much. So I think that I could echo when anybody up here could come up here and talk about Joe's demeanor. And I don't want to dismiss that at all because in the 15 years I was on the board, Joe probably saw me and just went, oh, many times. <laughs> like, oh, here she goes again. But, you know, one thing that, that I have to say is that no matter what, I knew as a board member that I could come to you and I could reason with you. And a lot of times you convinced me the other way. And I appreciated that dialogue. I don't want to get caught up in talking about his demeanor and him being calm because one thing that in, in political circles is that people say, if everybody likes you, then you probably didn't accomplish anything. You know, which is, it's typical because you can't please everybody. It's impossible to please everybody and actually accomplish stuff. And we were just talking a few minutes ago, and I think that only talking about his demeanor really diminishes what Joe has done. And he really has been a 
behind the scenes driving force on this board. And he's accomplished so much and there's so much to be grateful for. And I don't have time to, or I don't wanna waste everybody's time by sitting here telling you all the little things. But one of the things we had just talked about a few minutes ago was these buildings. And in Dearborn, we pride ourselves in the maintenance of our buildings and how good our buildings look, that our buildings are 75 plus years old and they still are in beautiful shape. And this is the reason. This is the reason that they're that way. Because Joe had the foresight to say, hey, wait a minute, we've got to put money away and we've got to maintain these buildings. We've got to put money into these buildings. You know, he's accomplished so much, but because he accomplished it quietly, people don't know that he was behind it. And I think that's the only sad thing. Those things don't get said because everybody just loves Joe. I just want to, if I could, just take a minute. It, uh, I, I don't, I can't really express what this means to me to have everybody here that I see, my past colleagues on the board, my running mate initially, Rick Linder. We were so cheap, we went together on our, our campaign posters, same sign. I still have it. I still have it in my garage. I still have one. And everybody else, all the past board members, you don't do what what we've accomplished alone. It takes everybody. I was asked earlier today what are the highlights of, of my career and I'll tell you the two things that I do this that I've done this job for all these years when the little ones come and perform in front of the board and then when I go to graduation everything in between we try to take care of so we can get them from that point to point B and get them into graduation and good jobs and when I hear about one of our graduates going to Harvard and all the scholarships that our students uh, achieve and in my own life, my kids' success going through the Dearborn Public Schools, their best friends, one's a doctor, one's an engineer at Nissan. Uh, there's so many success stories in this community, and we couldn't do it without everybody in this room. And I applaud you for that. Thank you so much. Your turn. I'm, I'm really sorry I have to leave. I, I just really can't get out of this meeting, and I apologize for that. I really appreciate everything that everybody's done and taking the time to come here tonight. Thank you. So before you go, though, I did contact some other board members, and uh, there are a couple. Daryl Donaldson is not able to be here if anyone would like to send him a card. Uh, but Pam Adams uh, wrote me a statement, and I'll read it on TV, but she was really heartbroken not to be here. And, you know, there's other people that would like to have been here. The uh, mayor and some of the city people just couldn't get here because of the snow or because of the other events. So thank you, Joe. Uh, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Even though Joe has to leave, anybody that would like to, we're still doing an open mic during the board meeting, so he'll be able to watch it on the internet after I send him that blog link. So, <laughs> all right, so next, Roxanne McDonald, who has served since 2012. We want to recognize her and thank her for her service on the board. Uh, I, got, I first got to know her, actually, for me personally, when I was principal at Duval, with her activity on the PTA. And I knew then that she was all about students. You might remember we took that trip up to Lansing for the bullying prevention. And, you know, really that's what she has stood for, all, you know, anywhere she's gone in this district, promoting students, promoting the PTA, promoting parent involvement. Shortly after I was hired as superintendent, she became the board president, and so I wanted to let her know that I really appreciate the support as I was transitioning into the new role and the great support that you provided to me. I know there were lots of times on the weekend, maybe in the evening, uh, where phone calls were occurring. Right now it's Mary I've been calling many, many times, but that's the relationship between the board president and the superintendent. So, you know, I appreciate that support as we transition in together. One thing with Roxanne, very visible in the community, very visible at schools with students and events. I mean, you know, last year I, I had that where I got to 10 schools in one day and then this year it was 16. She was close behind at all the different events 
following me as where I go because I'd run into her and some of the other trustees and it'd be all right it is a busy job and I think people don't realize I think a lot of people you know think that the the board trustees have an office here and it's a full-time job well it's not it's something they're doing outside of their job and so you know appreciate her de dedication and, and with her husband at some of the different events we've had just representing the district in a positive manner so Roxanne we really appreciate and thank you for years of service and I'll call President Lane up here to <laughs> Trustee Adams did uh, write a statement, so I, I will read this uh, just quickly. Roxanne and I go back to our original PTA roots. Both of us became involved in our children's schools, then on, went on to Dearborn Council. The natural progression was to be interested in a school board position. I thank Roxanne for her years of service, and I'm sorry she's not continuing on the board. I hope she continues to be involved in some way with the district. Good luck in your future endeavors, Roxanne. Thank you, Joe and Roxanne, my best to both of you. And I would just like to add from my part, Roxanne has been our, it, we all have our specialties, um, and our new trustees bring new interests. But Roxanne has stood for students and Particularly, she's been a voice for veterans. Uh, we all have these life experiences that we bring with us into the chair, and Roxanne's voice will be missed in the future, by me especially, uh, and I know by the other folks as well. So thank you, thank Roxanne. What I really liked about Roxanne is that she kind of taught me how to go about understanding the role of a board member. And that meant uh, going to meetings at the uh, Michigan Association of School Boards and taking classes. And I don't think there's a class offered by the MASB that you haven't taken. <laughs> but it really has helped because the board's role is vision, mission, strategic planning, and role development, and then get out of the way and let the superintendent run the school system. And it took a while for me to understand that coming from administration, I thought I could just kind of run things myself. So you begin to understand what the role is, but she's the one who introduced me to the MASB and to make sure to take the classes. The other thing I'd like to say about Roxanne is that she's a mediator. She doesn't like conflict. She likes to get people to work together. So sometimes she gets a little angry with me because sometimes I'm in the middle of the conflict. <laughs> But she smooths it out. So she is our mediator, and she's the one who taught us how important it is to get trained to do this job. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. So, you know, I first got to know Roxanne more as a parent when I was superintendent, and she would come in and meet with me, or we'd see each other at community events. And I think the real telltale sign of how good a person is is once she got elected, she was the same person. She was still focused on students and parents, what was best for students, and making sure that parents and the community were involved in the schools and had their say. So she was the same, you know, when she was a parent, same as an elected official, and that's quite an accomplishment, I think, to say about her. And the same things I said about Joe in terms of why this district is so special is because of the Board of Education holding administration accountable and moving the district forward. And believe me, I still track the test scores and how everything's going in Dearborn, and I know you're doing good work still here, and I'm still very proud of Dearborn Schools. And while the administrators here, the principals, assistant principals, the central office deserve some credit, so does the Board of Education, because the board is about setting goals and holding us accountable, and that is what makes Dearborn special and why I think you see student achievement, graduation rates financially, the bond, all the good things going on because the board is focused on those good things. So, Roxanne, thank you for your service, and I have the same thing. Now, I've given out three of them. Three is my lucky number. There you go. All right. So, congratulations. <laughs> I drove a long way, so I get to occupy the mic. <laughs> you know, being on the board is not easy. Getting elected to the board is not easy, but being on the board is not easy either. And I think that one of the hardest lessons that a new board member has to learn is the toll that it can take on you. Not just physically, because it is physical, because you know you have lots of meetings to go to, you're trying to divide your time, you're trying to schedule things, but it's really emotionally draining. You know, when you raise kids 
and you have your two kids or your three kids, that's emotionally draining. When you become a board member, you're now the parent of 20,000 kids. And when you go to bed at nighttime, you're thinking about those 20,000 kids and you're second guessing yourself, always. And I think that that is something that Roxanne struggled with because her heart is so big and she wanted to do everything. And it was really hard for her in the, be in the beginning to not be able to do that. And justifiably, I mean, everybody understood, you know, that you want to do those things. And it's, and it's really emotionally draining. It's very rewarding. Don't get me wrong right now. I'm just talking about the bad stuff because it is, it is rewarding and it, and it makes you feel good to be a part of something, especially like a district in Dearborn. And I think that as Roxanne continued her tenure on the board, you could see that growth where she knew that she couldn't get everything, but she was going to try. So, but in the end, you know, she wasn't, I think, as hard on herself. In the beginning, she was really hard on herself. And I think that as things progressed, she finally got her groove. And it's, it's sad for Dearborn that, that she's not going to be on the board. But I'm sure it's not the last that you've seen of her. So, enjoy your rest. It is nice. <laughs> So I just want to say, I was actually with Roxanne the night the election results came out and she had won the election. And I remember her great enthusiasm and her excitement at being on the board and being part of the board. And she took this job very seriously because it was serious and everyone does, but as Mike mentioned, going, getting the training she needed, doing the seminars she needed to go. She didn't take it for granted at all what it was that she was doing. And that's something I really respected and really appreciated. And I do think everyone brings something different to the board. And Roxanne cared so much about students and it was evident in the way she talked and the way she conducted herself and the questions she asked, but also she was there. Just as Superintendent Winston said, Everywhere you go, she's there. Every event that I pretty much have gone to, she's always there. And I think not only does she show it through what she's doing at the board, but through her community involvement too. So you are going to be missed. I just want to say what an honor it's truly been to be part of this board. There's been a lot of board members that I've seen come and gone and that I've worked with, and it has been incredible. I've learned so much from every single board member. I've learned how to take conflicts and really learn how to work together for, and uh, take a piece of this idea and a piece of that idea and come up with the best solution for our students and our community. And uh, I appreciate the support that I've had from the professionals in this district. I can't say enough about the staff of the district, from administrators, teachers, to the support staffs, the cafeteria, the, the janitors. Everyone in this district that I have had the pleasure of meeting really has a passion for the students and this community and making it the best district that it, that it can be. So before I cry, I just want to say thank you everyone for attending. I appreciate the honor and I appreciate the honor to serve. I want to thank all the guests who have come here to support both the trustees. I know we have people coming from out of town, driving in the snow. The students were very happy about the cancellation today, but the board doesn't get a break. The board still works, right? So anyway, so we're going to shift over. So thank you to everybody for coming today. One more quick thing. I just have to recognize my dad and thank him for coming and showing his support. Thanks, Dad. You're my go-to guy.